Yep, it is still hot outside for some reason. So we have a U-Force 1000 XL. We have the Team MSC cooling fan with the dome lights. And we're gonna actually install two of these units in this U-Force 1000 XL. So that is a package that you can get. It, you'll definitely get a deal by buying two if you have the U-Force 1000 XL. You can get one and mount it right up front. And then your passengers in the rear will be able to be cool as well with that second one. Now keep in mind, you can definitely select what color. I'm sorry, it's upside down right now the way I have it sitting, but you can definitely pick out the different color options for your back plate here. And then we've got our LED dome lights here and there, and you will have a switch to turn that on or off. And then of course you can control each side of the fan with this controller here and you can turn it on or off, make it where it just barely turns, just barely churning some air, moving some air, or you can make that thing blow hurricane force winds down on you and keep you nice and cool. One thing I wanna emphasize during the installation process is when you put these clamps in, make sure you put where this flat part is at the top and then that way it's mounted up as high as possible. You want it as close to the roof as possible to give you plenty of headroom. And again, I'm six foot one and I have plenty of clearance if you install this correctly. So we have it and there's still tons of space here and all these slots here to be able to suck all the air that's needed for these powerful fans to blow down on you and keep you nice and cool. So again, make sure that you put those in the way that Harmon's doing now. And then you can, uh, while it's still loose, you can actually shove this up as high as possible and then tighten them down with the hardware that's provided and you'll be good to go. And it works, of course, with our Hoppy sound system that you can get at teammscparts.com. It works good. And uh, it also will work with a few other of our different uh, sound systems. Uh, that are at teammscparts.com. Uh, anything that bolts here in the middle, you can actually move this around uh, just according to whatever setup you have. But if you notice, Harmon has put the bolt in already with the washer, and uh, I'm gonna actually put the camera down and help him out at this point, but just kinda wanted to let you see the process, the best method to use, but you can do, you know, if you have a better way to do it, go ahead, feel free to. But this is the way that we're doing it and I believe it's gonna be your best bet. So, looks super nice. It's high and tight, like when you're walking away from the machine, you kinda of don't even realize it's there, okay? It's up into the roof line, so that's nice. Anyhow, let me go help my boy out. Now that our fans are mounted in place, it's time to power these dudes up. So. Yours is gonna come with a pigtail setup and here's a quick disconnect plug. And you're gonna to wanna to get you some good 12 gauge stranded wire so that you can uh, splice these together and then route it around to your battery. And that's what uh, our man Harmon here is doing. He's already connected these in. He's gonna route it nice and neat. And you could connect these together, but uh, you're gonna actually run them to your battery and the reason you can get away with that is because these are actually on off switches as well as variable speed controls so you hear that click that's on and off and so that's going to disconnect the power to your fan that way you don't drain your battery so it's not like you have to run an extra switch to your switch panel because you got the switch right there and then here's your switch for your lights now, some of our uh, kits are gonna actually have a push button switch and you'll see that on yours. But either way, you're gonna have a on off switch for your LED dome lights. So that's something that we have here and here. So that's gonna be nice as well. And with our particular U-Force that we're using right now, we already have a dome light, but now you can light the whole cab up. So that's pretty nice as well. All right, now we got our wires all ran nice and neat. See, you can't even see it, except for when you get right there. Then we go back behind the seat and down and through the plastic. And Mr. Harmon is just connecting the positive and negative back here. LED dome lights. 
which is going to come in handy at night when you're doing some night rides. And then, of course, we got the fans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, man. And each side is controlled separately, which is also nice. after a hard day's work, huh? Just, you can shake this mug and it is not going to move. So you can definitely just sit there and cruise with it. Nice and easy, just barely blowing. Or you can crank that joker up. Man, I like that. Definitely going to come in handy your dome light there. Again, you may have a push button switch. Um, this was the switch we used on our first uh, batch. And uh, our, we have some more, probably by the time you've seen this video, you'll be getting a push button switch. But either way, I mean, it's the same thing. It don't matter. So, uh, super nice though. And again, you can also pick different colors and get blue, a uh, blue, back plate or a red yeah just all kinds of different colors so you'll see that on the website just go to teammscparts.com and you can find that i also have a direct link down in the description of this video and hey if you have some buddies that have a different kind of unit it don't have to be a cf moto we make them for all models and you can see that on the website so get you your cooling fan set up and you will definitely like it an overhead fan set up for your side by side and keep you nice and cool and for those of you that are uh wanting a crew cab and you want to buy two at one time for your crew cab we will definitely help you save a little bit of money there with a combo kit for you crew cab guys but other than that remember that this is you know just you can just picture the regular cab you force 1000 it'll look like this okay and uh, it fits both of them. They're super nice and they will definitely come in handy and make a huge difference when you're out on the trails, especially during the peak of summer. And uh, it's still hot here in Mississippi. So uh, definitely come and get yours. Hey, by the way, we've got these U-Force 1000 uh, CF Moto storage boxes. I absolutely love mine and my U-Force. Probably the easiest thing in the world to install. You just set it in and then we take our cf moto or cf quick connects and we'll put them in place they're in the box i'm pretty sure but you got these latches here you lift this up that holds it in place super nice here's your quick uh, connects right here we'll install those i'll show you that in a second but just wanted you to see this it's really nice because on the uforce 1000 uh, M 1000 XL you still have you know plenty of space here I normally run a just a little ice chest right here and then you can put boots and stuff you can put a, a five gallon bucket right here with some stuff in it just I don't know whatever you want to do there and then you can load this joker down with stuff I mean it is absolutely massive so don't forget we have these in stock. You can order them at teammscparts.com or come by Main Street Cycle and just pick one up on location and save some shipping money. But they do have this seal here and this huge lip which keeps everything nice and dry and dust free. I mean, trust me, I, I keep all kinds of stuff, my camera gear, everything like that in mind. And then also this is super strong you can set something heavy up there and use these rails to strap your stuff down. So very, very versatile and very, very useful. And uh, I'll throw a link to this also down the description of this video. Here's your CF Connect. Just put the, open it up like I already did. You gotta line this up here. Hey, quit moving over there. <laughs> but put that down there and just... We'll hold that down, then close it over, and she's held in place, huh? 
And uh, also, if you need to adjust yours straight out of the box, you can actually open this up. You can actually adjust these. You can take this cap off and tighten that down just a little bit to make the tolerance tighter. Just up to you. Anyways, super easy, guys. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, got tons of products at teammscparts.com. Just tons of accessories. We have doors, sound systems, you name it, we've got it. Clutch kits, performance parts, tunes, Wheels the whole nine. Tires. Wheels and tires, yeah. Best prices on the internet for wheels and tires. Tire and wheel combo at teammscparts.com and on site. You're not going to beat our tire and wheel combo kits. And uh, man, look, we got everything you need all in one place. Help support us. If you appreciate these videos, if they're helpful for you, support us by going to our website. Shopping from us, we greatly appreciate it, guys. God bless y'all. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.